Okay, a couple quick tips here for uh, some things that I've found useful when printing. And one of them is that when I'm using this, uh, the Nextent base, the Nextent crown and bridge materials, the MFH, uh, I find it really common that when I use these, I, I shake it as much as I can, uh, sometimes five, 10 minutes, and then I go and pour it in and it still looks like it's not the right color and consistency. And that's because these materials um, have so much filler particle in, and that filler particle is really prone to settling down here in the bottom. And it, it's really resistant to coming off the bottom, even with uh, vigorous shaking. So one thing I would suggest is anytime you're using these materials, or for that matter, any material that's got a lot of filler particle in it, get some kind of a long object and stick it down in the bottom of this and really stir it very thoroughly. Try to stir on the very bottom and scrape that to get all of that filler up off the bottom and reincorporate it. And then once you've done that thoroughly, um, it, it's much more effective when you shake it and it will actually uh, incorporate that much better. Now I'd already done this prior to doing the video um, and done some shaking, but once you've stirred it off, shake it really well and then you should be ready to go ahead and pour this into the printer and uh, get it ready to print. Okay, so you've got your material all shaken up and now you're ready to pour it into the tank to begin printing. But rather than just pouring this in, um, I'm gonna always filter it through a strainer when I do this. Now this is serving a couple of purposes. One, every time you drain the tank, um, sometimes you have a little failed print and there'll be a little small area of hardened resin that might break off and be in your resin. You may not even be aware that it's in there. But if it's in there and it comes into contact with the build plate, that's gonna cause a, uh, a failed print because now your print bed cannot come all the way down uh, to meet the mylar sheet on your printer. So always run it through a strainer. I would suggest when you filter it back into the bottle and when you're filtering it out. The second thing that this strainer does is that uh, after you vigorously shake this, you're going to have a lot of bubbles in this resin. Uh, pouring it through this strainer actually gets rid of most of the bubbles as well when you're doing this. So uh, I, I just get this at Walmart. Uh, just put on your Walmart shopping list a little small metal strainer and then like one of those long plastic handled spoons that you can use to stir your resin up and let this drip off. Once it drips off, um, you know, I run the last bit of it through there with my finger, scrape it off, put it into the build tank, and now we're ready to print with this. And so I'll take this off the camera holder so you can see inside. And as you can see, very, very little bubbles. What bubbles there are are incredibly fine. If you want to get rid of even those, you can also I keep a hairdryer uh, sticky or uh, nailed to the side here hanging so that I can just kick this on. And very quickly, whatever bubbles may have been in there, just the heat from that hairdryer causes the bubble to expand and pop. And so now you don't have to worry about bubbles causing a failed print. And then the one other thing I'll just show you is my, uh, my Ghetto Fabulous 3D printing stand. And so I got this from a junkyard. It's just an old filing cabinet. This is the ideal thing I've found for storing my printer, my supplies, my resins, all of this. So in each cabinet, I've got different things. I've got various resins, uh, my build tanks, more platforms. I also in this main one where I've got all of my different resins stored, I just took a, another thing from Walmart, just a plastic cutting board, and zip tied it to the, uh, the file folder rails. This is my workspace. So one, I can close it up so now it's not exposed to light, and two, it's out of the way, and it contains the mess. You know, a cutting board has this rim around it that doesn't let anything come out of it, so this makes for a great uh, workspace when you're doing your printing because printing is messy business. I've ruined pretty much all of my clothes now with 3D printing resin, so this has helped a lot with that. Um, but anyways, if you've got somewhere that you can get just a cheap filing cabinet, um, that can make a great stand for your 3D printer and get a, give you a place to store all your junk in one spot, closed off from the lights, so this has helped me a lot.